this, this area is called Bristol Bay, and we're, we're located about 300 miles southwest of Anchorage, Alaska. And most people know that Anchorage is south central, so we're considered southwestern. And uh, our prominent features out here are Katmai National Park, Lake Iliamna, and a multitude of rivers and lakes that drain into either Bristol Bay, into various lake systems, and then into Bristol Bay. The Quijack drains Lake Iliamna, and that's the home of some of the largest rainbow trout in the world. All the rivers out here still have prolific runs of sockeye salmon, chump salmon, king salmon, and that's really what sustained the trout. We generally send four people in a de Havilland beaver with two guides. In my case, I guide also, so I, I bring a guide along, and that airplane stays right there with me and the clients all day. We have anywhere from 20 to 30 destinations, depending on the time of the year. Uh, this time of year, quite a variety. We, we can access 12 different trout rivers, a couple of char rivers, and two rivers for salmon. In another week, we'll add another salmon river, as well as four or five more trout rivers. So, uh, the middle of the summer is probably the most varied time for, for destinations. As we get later in the summer, the, the, the number of locations that are fishing good will, will dwindle, but we, we start getting into some of our bigger fish, uh, primarily rainbow trout. But we also catch some huge char in some of the locations in the fall. Well, people should be concerned about the flying. It's something that it's 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 an inherently dangerous thing we're doing up here. But if the the risks are managed, the aircraft are maintained properly, and the pilots are are first class in what they're doing and careful, then then it's it's a uh, a minimal risk. But in our operation. Our airplanes are the best that we can buy to start with. We're, I'm, I'm flying one every day myself and I don't ever want to have a problem with it. So we don't spare any expense and we also don't push the weather. That's probably the number one thing up, up in this part of Alaska is, is foul weather and pushing it, trying to get into places. And we've sat on the ground when other people have been flying, but you know what, we're, we're gonna keep doing that because we want to do this for a long time. Was an old Norwegian fisherman owned the property. And they'd have coffee and chat. And one day the old man said that he'd like to sell his, sell his lot there and move in with his daughter. So my dad bought it. And that was about 75. So between 75 and, and today, we've slowly built the lodge up from, from a single cabin up to, uh, up to what it is now. You know, I think it's, I think it's, a lot of him. He, he really knew what it meant to operate and to run a first-class lodge. He knew what people were coming to Alaska for, what they wanted. And he was a quality guy. He really just treated people right. And, and I, I hopefully learned from him. And so I'm continuing on from what I learned and I'm trying to make it better still. And I think that's probably, probably a lot of it too. We're constantly trying to make it a better experience for people. And, but yet keep it, keep it real and keep it, um, keep it personal. That, that's, that's part of it. We're small. Or, or steak and crab, veal, um, prime rib. Uh, definitely with a, a slight Italian flair to them. We've got oil, uh, thyme, salt, pepper on them, and then we've seared them. We make it every day here. Um, just any variety that, that, that really strikes. Tonight we're just doing a wheat bowl. But we also make some of our lunch breads also. We do croissants, we do focaccia bread, and stuff like that. And cracked crab. And cracked crab. Lots of cracked crab. Standard red and white each night. Uh, we'll, we'll vary it up. We have several different brands that we'll vary it up with. And so now, if, if certain guests do, they prefer to send their own. Well, we'll be doing uh, ice cream on Sunday. We'll be doing a ganache molten lava chocolate cake, um, a blueberry pie. Depending on how our rhubarb looks, we sometimes do a strawberry rhubarb pie with fresh grown rhubarb. That, that's, that's part of it. We're small. We've never 
never had the, the desire to grow huge and you know really get a lot of people. We're at 12 people a week and, and I think that that's a max. That keeps it a, on a personal level. I get to fish with just about everybody and the, the staff is small. We have a return staff every year. People come back to see them, to see me. And I think that that's, uh, that's the key to success in this business right now is there's a personal experience that, that you can tailor to each individual need and desire. So that's what we do good. I think to, to make sure that somebody has a real quality experience, you got to be out there and experiencing it with them and, and making sure that everything's going that way. And, and honestly, if I couldn't do this, I don't know if I'd want to do it.